Hello and welcome, my name is Eli and in this video we're going to be connecting a Stripe checkout session using Firebase functions. This is going to be one of the series of videos around Stripe. I'm uploading a new video every Friday, so if you like my content consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's get started. We're going to go to the Firebase console and add a new Firebase web application to our Firebase project. This is going to give us the Firebase configurations. I'm going to copy first the uh, link to the SDK and I'm going to paste it in my HTML file. And I'm going to copy the Firebase configuration and I'm going to paste it in the scripts.js file that I have. After this, I'm going to create an instance of the button. I'm going to get it by the ID, which is checkout button. And we're going to add an event listener to this button in order to do something when we click it. So we say add event listener, unclick, and the function right now is just going to be a simple console log that says clicked. Let's go ahead and check if this works correctly. As you can see, there it is printing click. Now we're going to go ahead and install the Firebase tools globally using npm right after this we're going to go ahead and run firebase init in the folder of our project we're going to select yes we're going to pick the functions and pick a an existing project in my case i already have one then i'm going to select javascript and i'm going to click yes for the eslint and yes to run the npm install command. Now, as you can see, a bunch of files were created. I'm going to pick the index.js file inside the functions folder. I'm going to delete the boilerplate and just create a new function like this. I'm going to call it create stripe checkout. It's going to be functions.https and then on call to create a callable function for Firebase. Now this is gonna receive two parameters, data and context. And in here, we're gonna do the Stripe initialization first. But for this, we need to go to the Stripe project and select developers, API keys, and copy the secret key like this. Now I'm gonna run Firebase functions config set and I'm going to set the stripe secret key in here so I, I run this command I paste it now to check the the configuration variables we can run firebase functions config get and as you can see in a second there it is the secret key is already uh, configured in the project. Now right after this we're gonna cd into functions and run npm install stripe to, stri this, to install the stripe library. Now we can initialize it by running require stripe and then parenthesis and we're gonna call the secret key we just saved using firebase config stripe secret key like this. Now, after this, we can now create the checkout session. So we run stripe checkout sessions create, and this receives an object as a parameter with a bunch of data. First uh, thing we're going to put in is the payment method types. In this case, we're just going to be accepting card. For the mode, we put in payment, and we're going to pass in two URLs. First is success, and the second one is gonna be the cancel URL. In my case, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna put my local host. Success, just for demonstration purposes. And cancel. Then we need to put in the line items, which are gonna be the ones that are gonna be charged. Uh, I'm gonna put quantity, just one. And this is going to be hard coded as well as the price data. I'm going to hard code US dollar and the price. In this case, it's a unit amount. 
and for this uh, you need to multiply times 100 whatever the price is so if it's 100 USD you multiply it by 100 and that's gonna be the unit amount so uh, 10,000 is equal to $100 then I'm gonna add in the um, the product data and in here the name of the product it's just gonna be new camera ideally you want to get this from the database but I'm gonna hard code it then I'm gonna return uh, the the session ID like this I'm just gonna add the await call and the async call to the function and we're gonna run firebase deploy only functions now this is probably not gonna work the first time because the linter is gonna give us a, a bunch of errors you're gonna see in a second now the first error we get is unexpected token and this is because we need to update the version that is using for this we go to the .eslintrc.js file and we're gonna add one more parameter here parser options it's an object and ICMA version is gonna be 2017 you need to add the trailing commas by the way that's important now let's try it again firebase fun firebase deploy and that's gonna fail one more time this time again for the because of the linter I'm gonna add all the trailing commas that it's asking me to and one right here semicolon and column like this and a space at the end of the file as well that's just for best practices it's basically uh, kind of like a standard of coding that the linter is requiring now one more thing you need to go to your uh, firebase project select upgrade and select the blaze plan because we are making requests to the outside world so it's gonna uh, require us to do this then we run the command again and everything is gonna work fine if we go to the function section in the firebase console you'll see uh, a new function created now let's go to the client side I'm gonna add a new SDK here instead of app we're gonna change it for functions and we're also gonna paste the stripe client SDK now we go to the scripts.js file and first we're gonna create uh, the firebase function instance by passing into a function firebase.functions.https callable and the name of the function so in this case it was create stripe checkout and then in here we can just call it as a regular function like this it's a promise so we're gonna do the then callback function and we're gonna get the session ID from the server now we go to the stripe project and we copy the publishable key and we're gonna create a stripe instance passing in this publishable key then we just need to run stripe.redirect to checkout and pass in an object with the session ID just like this now if we test it out as soon as we press it a couple milliseconds is gonna take us to the checkout page and this is completely uh, adjustable from the stripe dashboard you can go ahead and pick different colors depending on your branding basically now we're going to test it out with this card you can put it in as well it's 424242 all the way then really everything else doesn't really matter if we click on pay it's gonna process it it's not really gonna process it this is test mode and then it's gonna take us to the success page so now that's the first part of this tutorial we created a checkout session but we can customize it a bit more maybe handle um, the request after 
the user buys with a webhook and if you want to see all this content go ahead and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and like the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one